Welcome to Tectonic Knights channel. Here's day 1 of solving Pandas lead code problems. Check out the intro to Pandas video if you'd like to learn the basics of Pandas data structures and commonly used methods by solving 15 lead code problems. Today's topic is data filtering in Pandas. First problem is that given table contains a column name which serves as the primary key, that is it holds unique values for each row. Each row provides information about a country, including the country's name, the continent it belongs to, its area, population, and GDP. We are asked to find countries that are considered big according to the following criteria. A country is considered big if its area is at least 3 million km square or its population is at least 25 million. Goal is to return a data frame that has name, population, and area columns of the big countries based on the mentioned criteria. We can use the dot lock method here in pandas to filter rows that satisfy the given conditions. We use or operator to combine two conditions given in the problem. Finally, after filtering through rows, we only want to return the name, population, and area columns. Next problem is we are given a table called products where product ID is the primary key. The table contains the following columns. Low fats of enum type where Y is for low fat, N is for not low fat. Recyclable is of enum type where Y is for recyclable and N for not recyclable. Our task is to write a query that returns the product ID values of products that are both low fat and recyclable. The result can be returned in any order. Here we can use dot lock method or just specify conditions to filter a data frame. An alternate approach is to use query method. The query method allows you to filter the data by specifying a condition as a string expression. Here the expression is to check if low fat and recyclable value for a product is Y. Finally, we return the product IDs from the filtered data frame. Here we are given two tables, the customers table where each customer has a unique ID and a name, the orders table where each order has a unique order ID and is linked to a customer through the customer ID. The customer ID is a foreign key of the ID from the customers table. The task is to return customer names who never placed an order. To solve this, we need to identify customers who do not have a corresponding entry in the orders table. One approach is to perform a left join between the customers and orders table using the merge method. This will result in a data frame where rows with no matching customer ID in the orders table will have NAN values in the customer ID column. We can then filter out these rows to obtain the customers without orders. Alternatively, we can use the easein method in combination with the negation operator to filter customers whose IDs are not present in the orders table. Here we are given a table where each row represents an instance of a viewer reading an article. The table does not have a primary key and each row indicates which viewer viewed which article on a specific date. Our goal is to find all authors who have viewed at least one of their own articles. To do this, we filter the data where the author ID is equal to the viewer ID, since this indicates the author is viewing their own article. To ensure we only return unique author IDs, we drop any duplicate rows based on the author ID, keeping the first occurrence. Since the result needs to be returned in a column named ID, we rename the author ID column to ID. Finally, we sort the values in ascending order of ID before returning the results. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for more videos in this series. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.